is really I think we're where we should be right now. As you get down to the end, it's constantly, you know, we throw them a different wrinkle here and there and try to give them something different to, to see, you know, just how far along we are with uh, the uh, kind of the unscripted plays. We throw them an odd ball and see if they can pick it up. But um, uh, we're pretty well along in what we wanted to get done at this point. How did they do with those unscripted plays? <laughs> Depends who was playing. <laughs> it's all because you know the older guys kind of get it. They they're used to it. The younger guys, you know, they're it's got it's just a new thing for them. And we have some guys that we try to play at different positions to, uh, just to cover ourselves in case something does happen. So uh, it's just a matter of us making sure that we keep going over and and, and, and they'll get better at it. Have a chance to look at it to, this morning on tape, and then we'll go from there. Two days ago, you said their legs were tired. How do you assess them now? I think we're better after a couple of days off. Uh, from here on out, though, they've really got to do a great job of taking care of themselves, doing all the little things with hydration and getting in the tubs and, and making sure that they're off their feet when we do give them time off, that they are taking care of themselves. There's been a lot of talk about how penalized this team was last year. How do you keep them even keel, especially in, a, in an environment like this one? Well, that's one thing we've talked for a while. It's been for you know, three or four years now, it's been that way, you know, being that deep into the penalty uh, rankings and we've got to do a better job you know there's going to be aggressive penalties it happens all the time I think we're just worried about the, the dead ball kind of penalties the false starts the offsides uh, the, the the non-aggressive type penalties um, that we've got to just do a better job and so we you know all we can do is just keep harping about the practice all the time and once again it comes back take care of all the little things and the big things will take care of themselves but if we stay on them about it and we have you know we're on them all the time about that and um so I think we'll, we should be better in that area. Do you sense more maturity with that defensive unit now? I think so. I, I think a lot of them have a, a much better feel for what we're trying to get done. Um, you know, they're, 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 they're a year older. Uh, everybody knows each other a little bit better. So I, I think the communication part is definitely um, much better. As a defense, do you like the noise that 100,000 fans can bring? Because normally the, you know, the saying is that it mess more with the offense than the defense. So. It doesn't, you know, it's just, you know, it's a great atmosphere. It's fun to play, and it's a lot of fun to play in those places. I kind of like it, so, you know, I enjoy it. Uh, you know, one of the things there, um, you know, with their offense, I'll, you know, it probably won't be as loud because, um, you know, we'll, we'll be on defense. But it's fun to play, and that's just a great college atmosphere, and I, and I think our guys are looking forward to it. What stands out about Christian Kirk? <laughs> He's a heck of a player. He's really a great athlete. Uh, He's one of those guys that's fun to watch play on film, not so fun in person. But uh, he, he's really an excellent football player. It seems like they have a variety from the a quick, smaller, quicker guy like Kirk to the big bodies. How do you feel uh, your secondary is ready for that challenge? Good. They've got good people. I mean, they're a good football team. So I mean, that's one of the things that makes it fun that we're going to have an opportunity to go out and, and see how good we are against really good people. With a quarterback that's played somewhere else but not in this system, are, are you scouting old Oklahoma stuff? Or are you focused more on the I've scheme they're going to run? Before, uh, I don't know who he is. He's an excellent football player. He's, you know, he's won some big games. It's not he's won bowl games. He's been around. Uh, he's a mature uh, quarterback. Uh, he makes great decisions. So I don't think there'll be any difference just going to A&M. He'll be fine. Good to go.